Hello guys and welcome in this video series about building a two-dimensional game in C Sharp using timer and picture boxes. So in the previous video I show you how you could make the player move as you can see here. And in this new video I'm going to show you how you can make it be able to shoot as you can see in the final version here. So let's get started. So guys go ahead and create a new table for munitions and uh, another integer for our munition speed. So in the windows load you have to initialize your munition speed with 20 so that means 20 pixel and uh, the munition speed array will be also initialized with three picture boxes and uh, you also need to load the image which image you will be using for, for your munition so in my case in the folder debug there i save i put my asset in the asset you can file find all images and this is the image for the munition as you can see the name here now next step is to set up all images in our picture boxes so here as you can see i have used a for loop so uh, as long we are in the munition as long we we haven't reached the length of the munition then we create an object for each index for each munitions index so and we define the size 8 pixel to 8 pixel and uh, the image will be munitioned as you can see here and uh, the size mode will be zoomed because we want the image to be stretched inside of the box that's why we use this we don't want it to have border and um, we finally add it in the control tab and this is good for now now we're going to add the timer and uh, start to make it move. Then just go back to your designer form and there you have to drag and drop a timer. So I'll just enter timer and then just do this and set the name. We say move munitions timer. So the, the interval should be shaded to 20 pixel and the enable should be true because we want the player directly when we start playing be able to shoot and uh, in this game we are not going to control the shooting everything will be done automatically just double click on your timer for adding a new event handler so as you can see here we have a move munition timer ticks this is actually a method that uh, that will be called each 20 millisecond as we have set it here. So each 20 millisecond this method will be called and everything here inside will be round. So now all we need is to write our code here inside. This might be your first time being on this channel watching on videos. If that's the case, please subscribe and leave a comment in the section below. Thank you. Now I added the code for you and I'm just going to explain to you what's going on. So we have a simple uh, for loop and uh, as you can see here we are running through the munitions array. We just check the position of the actual picture box or maybe munitions. So if he, if he hasn't reached the top of the screen then his property visibility will be set to true. And then we just decrease, decrease the position till he reached zero. And when he reach zero, then we set the visibility to false. We bring him back to the in the position where the player is located. So the munition is always located where the player is located. That's why you're seeing this here. So we bring him back there, and he also he restart moving, and uh, everything will be done continuously as long as the timer is playing. So if you actually have this, then you just have to compile it and try it out. So in my case, I'm going to compile it. I have it. So as you can see, my player is now able to shoot. And it's really nice. So guys, this is all for now. Thank you for watching. Think about to subscribe my channel. In the next video, I will show you how you can add some sums effect to this game. Stay creative. I will see you next time.